All right, here's a little guy carved out of butternut. I just added some eyes onto him. Uh, as you can see, it's a pretty wood. It is when you carve a figure. <clears throat> I just put a little polyurethane on him. I did. Uh, you can put deft. You can put mem wax. You can put whatever you know you feel like putting on him. And, uh, so, you know, that's, it's kind of, it's a, it's, it, it ends up to be a very pretty wood and works well. And this is just a very simple figure as we did. We didn't do anything out of the ordinary or tough or anything like that but what I do want to show you is I did a little bit more intricate figure here and I'll put him beside him and let me raise whoop, let me come up let me come back a little bit with my that is a hobo I did, and uh, butternut. And as you see from the side, from both sides, and you can see how beautiful that wood can be when you do a little bit larger figure. And you really get to see the wood the way you want to so that is a hobo that is made out of butternut and like I said you know here's a little bit bigger figure than the small one which I was going to show you and that is our piece there the little man and uh, so when you do a little bit bigger figure, you, you get a little bit better contrast to the wood and how pretty it can look and, and everything like that. In other words, that's why a lot of times in smaller figures like that, we do use basswood and we paint them. It gives them a lot more, uh, you know, uh, look to them in such a way. But I wanted to kind of show you that contrast. You can do it in, in, in that. And especially doing animals and uh, like little squirrels, little, um, or just any kind of little animal, in other words. And, and you sand it down, looks so much better in butternut. But I just wanted to show you that. All right. God bless you now.